looking for something a little bit different as a gift, not sure what to get as a gift. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you a variety of options to choose from that won't break the bank. Welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Run Nutter, your home for all things relating to smart home technology. In this episode, we're going to talk about gifts to power your smart devices. Hi, I'm Ron Nutter, and we're going to be working on this together. This content is also available as an Amazon flash briefing or podcast. Please go to techbyteswithronnutter.com for more information. For any items mentioned in this episode, there are affiliate links in the description. If you click on these links, I will get a small commission, but that won't affect the price you pay for the item. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up. Now here's what we're going to be covering. There's a whole host of devices. We're going to talk about a dual port IQ charger from the folks at Anchor. They've also got a cigarette lighter plug. We're also going to be talking about a 10,000 milliamp hour battery. Again, we're going to pet pictures on all these, so that's what we'll be going into this in detail. Now, for the photographer in your family, this next one is a Swiss Army knife or somebody who travels a lot. The Rav Power File Hub is definitely something that you want to get a hold of. So let's go ahead and get started. When you're setting up that new account for the Smart Home Cloud Service or device, please get a copy of my Smart Home Device Account Checklist you see here on the screen. This will help make sure that everything gets written down that you entered to get that account created. The form will also serve as a backup copy when you get this entered into your Password Manager app. And if you're not already using a Password Manager app, please get one now and get started. You will be subscribed to my email list in exchange for the checklist. I won't share, rent, or sell your information to anyone. For anybody who travels or is always on the go, what's the one thing you typically leave behind or it gets lost or misplaced in traveling? And that's going to be the charger. If you get a newer phone, do you want to wait six or eight hours for it to fully charge? I think the answer is going to be no. Here are a couple of options for you to look at. Now, the Anchor Dual Port IQ charger is one that, especially if you have a newer smartphone that can support the enhanced charging spec to where it charges in a lot less time. This is my go-to charger. In fact, it's so go-to, I've got two of them. So if you've got a device that supports that, that's great. If you don't have a device that supports it, that's still good because it's going to better handle multiple devices so that you don't have to worry about the charger simply not being able to keep up with the job at hand. Now, when you're traveling or using a rental car, yes, more rental cars are starting to have USB ports in them, but invariably, I get the one that the port's not working right. Plus, I would rather have this device sitting in there because if something goes wrong with the USB port in the vehicle, you may hose a device that's very important to you. With the ROAV, it's going to act like an inline fuse, and it's one step of isolation between you and the power source. So this is something that's very handy to have. So somebody who's traveling, or even if you're working in sales or something where you're traveling a lot during the day, even in town, charger like this that's going to let you handle multiple devices, or the USB charger is going to be one that both will serve you well. And so that's something that you really can't go wrong because let's face it, the more smart devices you have, and you wonder where the smarts are, if it's us or it's the device, is going to be that much better prepared that you don't have to worry about being with the device that's about to run out of power, especially if you're giving your presentations from your smart device. Again, that's simply going to make it a little bit easier for you. Now, the next thing we're going to be looking at is the Anchor 10,000 milliamp hour battery. This doesn't look all that big. And there are some that are big. There are some that just have a phenomenal capacity to them. But this is one that on a recent trip to Walt Disney World in Florida, I took this with me so that I could charge my camera during the day. And there were several times that between my smartphone and the video camera that I was using, this battery just about ran out of power. So that tells you how much I was charging it during the day. So this is something, especially when you travel, can be very important to keep the juice running. You say you need a little bit more than that. Welcome to the RAV Power File Hub. This is one that is literally, it's the Swiss Army knife to the whole process. It is about a 6,500 milliamp hour. So it's not going to be a huge capacity, but it's better than nothing. Now, if you look here on the side, 
it's got an SD card in it. So if you put a USB drive that plugs into the top of the device and you take your SD card out of your camera or camcorder, then this is going to be something that can help you make backup copies during the day. This device is not just, that's not just it's a one trick pony. It does more than that. If you're in a hotel where you need to use wireless, but you want an additional level of protection, this can plug into your laptop and let you go wireless out to the hotel network, or you can link into wireless on this and then go out to the hotel network. So you're protecting yourself from somebody getting a little curious and trying to hack into your laptop. And let's face it, if it's going to happen, well, I don't know about you, but it's going to happen to me. Now there's the power button on the side. There are a lot of things that this can do. There's a little flap up top that you really can't see from here that will let you recharge it, let you plug into the network. But now here's the button on the side I wanted to make sure you knew about where it says uh, SD to USB. You don't have to have a computer to be able to use this one. This literally is all you've got to do is have a, a USB drive like this one to back your files up to. Now, is it going to blindingly copy them? No, but at least you have a backup option. Because what I did on a recent trip is I had about four or five micro SD cards with me and I was using those during the day because I found out that trying to do this while I was out in the park really didn't work that well. Because, you know, sometimes if you drop these things, good luck at trying to find them. But when I got back to the hotel during the day or when I had time at lunch, then I was able to make all the backup copies of this and I was concerned enough about losing some pictures that I actually had multiple USB drives with me. One was a larger capacity SSD. One was something like this that had a significant capacity to it. It was like it's either 64 or 128 gigs because I didn't want to risk what could be my last trip in a long time and seeing and not having all my videos there. So this is something that really... There are so many options that you can do with the Rav Power File Hub that it's really worth the investment. And it, you know, right now, I want to look at the prices before shooting this video. It was about fifty dollars on Amazon. So really, that's not a bad price for something with this versatility. There is firmware that you may need to think about updating, but out of the box, it should be functional. And it's well worth the time. There's an accessory uh, case for this, not from the folks at Rav Power, but there is a third party out there. And I'll try to put a link to it in the notes that will do a good job at holding this plus the cable plus a couple of USB drives. So somebody who's a the photographer in the family can always have backup copies of whatever's being shot because especially if you're on a longer trip more than this one than a day or two or you have videos or pictures that you don't want to risk losing somewhere and there's been twice i've lost pictures and i wish i'd had a backup trust me so this is something that you'll be well served with adding to your collection even if you don't need it that much if you're watching this on YouTube, you will see videos on the screen that are similar to the one that you're watching now or other content that YouTube thinks you might be interested in. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.